What's up YouTube? CJD here from Chris's Junkyard Designs. I've um, got a package in today from Super Mini Wheels on eBay. Who I've ordered through many times. I get most of my Mini GTs from there or Surplus Goodies. Um, pretty good mail call. Stuff I've been really waiting to get. Um, so we'll show you the packages and then we'll probably just take them out and put them on a turntable. Might as well. Why not? It's not that many, so. All right, let's start off with newest Auto World Rat Fink trailer. I had to get this one. I have all the other ones. This one's really cool. The green wheels. You call it, we haul. You call, we haul. 1 800 728 Fink. So that's awesome. Big Daddy Rod Roth. Awesome. I love these trailers. They have something on every sign. They're only like seven bucks. I think it's worth it for me. I love them. So let's go on display with the rest of them. We'll take it out and take a look at it in a minute. Okay, we got that one there. This is a new brand I got. This is Diecast Team. These are 164th scale Pullmans. So I guess it's like a Mercedes. This is the gold one. It's got the gold right there. So this is the same box for both. A little info on the back. 14 and above. A gold collectible, of course. Pretty plain back box. And we got it in blue. They had four different colors. I got the blue and the gold. I thought those two were the coolest. It was black and silver. Silver, I think, was the other one. So that's the boxes for those. Take them out. Got the new Kaido House Mini GT Dotson 510 wagons in the Brie Dotson livery. We got it in the red. This is basically the general normal, I guess you could say, Brie livery. So we'll take a look at that one normal box, like all other ones that we've seen now a million times. It's got the brie on the side. But love this packaging. And we got it in the other color. It's like a silver off-white, I guess. Let's see. When we take it out. And the brie's on there. So those would be cool. Alright, and we got some mini GTs, of course. Mini GT finally came out with the rough CTR Porsche. I've been dying for this one. We got it in the Paris 64 already, which is an awesome model. So we'll see how this compares to that. I should actually get the Paris 64 one out and compare it. Would be good. Maybe I'll do that. Yeah, sweet. Awesome looking Mini GT, like all Mini GTs are. So, we got that Mini GT. We got this one. I wasn't going to get this one, and I've seen it on a couple people's channels, and I got things freaking sweet looking. So, I want. I don't have this model. I'm not going to get them in every color, but I wanted one. I know there's a blue one, I believe, that's out too right now, but I wanted this red one. Uh, the interior looked insane and everything, so I said I'm going to grab it. I think these are 10 bucks. And then the one of 3600 forgets the packaging, not the car. We get this packaging overseas, just get the box. Okay, and finally I got this older one. They had this in three different color variations. I had them all in my cart, and I just took the one. Um, there's also a white and a plain black version, but I just grabbed this one. I wanted to see how it was, see if I liked it, and then maybe I'll get the other one. So this is an older one. The older box style, you can tell. <clears throat> now they switched to like this box style. The red and the gray, or the yellow and the gray. It has the mini GT, so this is the older style. <clears throat> but I wanted to get this car. It looks cool on a Civic Type R. This was only 10 bucks too. So, pretty cool. So, we'll unbox all these. I wanted to show you guys how I open a package here with these 
mini GTs and stuff like that. So I'm going to open one in front of you and I'm going to shut the camera off. Pause it and we'll set up the turntable and get rocking and rolling all the other cars. But I know a lot of people use scissors and everything, but I found this to be the easiest. I take my knife, put it in right underneath, and then I just turn it right underneath, right underneath the packaging, just like that. Come around, and there she is. Open right up. Because you don't hit the car because there's another piece of plastic, and I never hit the box. I go right underneath the box. So, and that's it. Simple, so I have a sharp knife, pop it right around, and she comes right out. That's how I open all of them. I don't have to get scissors and mess with all that, and just take my little knife and spin it around. So, let me um, get the rest of these unboxed. You don't need to watch that every time. I'll have them lined up, set the turntable up, and we'll go from there. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. Everything's unboxed. I got the Power 64 version of the Porsche 2, so we can compare that. And let's rock and roll and see all these guys loose. So here's the <clears throat> Auto World trailer first. Ratfink. <clears throat> Looks awesome. Absolutely love this one. I think it's one of my favorite ones. I love that green color. It just stands right out. And the back opens and the door opens. It's just chrome inside. So I'm not going to bother with that. Uh, that door is very flimsy on a lot of them. I had a break on two of them now so far. So you got to be careful with that side door. <clears throat> But, yeah, awesome graphics all the way around on this. Absolutely love it. I'm going to show you the top. Big Daddy Roth right there. And you get a shot of the underneath. It's just black. So, pretty cool. I like it. I love these trailers. I think five now different ones in my collection of these trailers. It's just great. Great pieces to the collection. All right, next up, let's look at some Mini GTs. I'm not sure if this Honda Civic is 164 scale. It's kind of big, and it's still completely freaking awesome, but it just looked a little big to me. Let's get a little zoomed in here more. She is a sweet. My first Mini GT Honda Civic. I really like it. And things awesome. Wow. Beautiful car. I'm glad I got this one. Take a closer look here. Beautiful paint, like a matte black. Lens headlights, of course, <clears throat> and she's a roller. Beautiful detail in the back. Looks great. The rear defroster on there. Rubber mirrors. Metal base. But yeah, she is a roller. <clears throat> Beautiful car. I absolutely love it. Next up is the Honda S2000. I want to show you something real quick here before we just look at the Honda S2000, the size comparison. I don't know, maybe that is what the difference is, but that Civic looks way bigger than that car. So I'm thinking that Honda Civic is not a true 164 scale. It's like towering over that car, but it could be right. I don't know. Yeah. So this beauty is the Honda S2000. In new formula red. What a beautiful car that is. I'm glad I picked that one up too. Definitely not disappointed. And she is a roller. Let's take a 
closer look at this one. We do have rubberized ears. These are a lot stiffer. They're still rubber, but a lot stiffer of a rubber on that one. We got this roll bar in the back. So it's a little bit flat, fragile. You have to be careful. But look at that beautiful interior. It looks great. I mean, they don't color detail it, but it's very nicely done. Get the carbon fiber hood. And then we have the lens tail lights. Dual exhaust. Lens headlights. Look great. Gold wheels look great on this car. Well, we got the little antenna here. That's rubber as well. Yeah. That's a beauty. I like that model very much. Definitely. Okay, next up. Let's do the Mini GT Rough. Um, CTR Anniversary. So this is a little bit different, I believe, than the Paris 64. It's still a rough um, Porsche. But I don't know if that's the anniversary one. It might be. It says CTT. I don't know if it's the same exact Porsche. They don't look exactly the same. But this is the... Mini GT version is freaking awesome. Wow, that color is just awesome. This is my favorite Porsche. Let me hear yellow, the 911 look, the whale tail on the back. I absolutely love this Porsche, my favorite kind. This is what I loved when I was a kid. Definitely beautiful Porsche and she's a roller and we got the lens headlights of course beautiful wheels beautiful color yellow tail end done very nicely we got rubber mirrors with the reflective or not nope not this time and a basic standard thing so here's the mini gt and here is the paris 64 so a little different this one rolled a little rougher but um they're definitely different models but you get somewhat of an idea of the two brands and they both look absolutely gorgeous absolutely gorgeous both of them i do like how the mini gt rolls better but i love them both my para 64 did a great job too gorgeous car so both very beautiful for the collection yellow is almost the same the para 64 is more like a mustard yellow almost and the other one's more of a bright yellow which i like the brighter yellow better But yeah, very nicely done. So we got that, and we got that. Let's take a look at some new 510 wagons. This beauty. Things gorgeous, like all the rest of them are. I absolutely love it. It's got the red roll cage. I love the wheels on this one. Look great. Black interior, I believe, with this one. Beautiful three livery on here. We'll open up the hood so you guys can get a look at that. I'll just show you that, too. It says Bree Dotson on there. Yep, just Bree Dotson. <laughs> so awesome. I love these things. I mean, they are 20 bucks, but they're worth it. By far. And to think you could pay five times the amount for a stupid super treasure hunt hot wheels. And look at this thing for twenty dollars. 
<coughs> Unreal. That's why I'm going towards more of this stuff. The prices aren't all jacked up and ridiculous for a 99 cent car. Beautiful. <clears throat> Let's look at his brother there, which also looks awesome. I really like this one too. And this white color with silver in it. It's just got a weird interior though. It's got like a blue interior. I'm not too crazy about that. They picked that color, but it's not that bad. Oh, did a mirror just bust off? Or a cane busted off? I see one off. That sucks. I just noticed it, so I don't know if I did it. I didn't clean these, so I stopped doing that. It might have cane busted off, which is a first in any of these. That really sucks. I have a couple of them like that now. You need to be really careful with these, but I don't remember knocking it off. There's nothing in the package. I could have done it. I have no clue if I did it or not. All I did was pick them up and look at them. I really didn't do anything else. So, it's what it is. It's what it is now. So, I'll look around the mat here and see if I see it later. But it's definitely off. Just notice that. But what a beautiful model. This one's got the white inside roll cage. And take a look at the. Engine on this one. This has the Bree Dotson 2 in white. Awesome looking. Two beautiful Mini GT Dotsons in the collection. All right, two more because my battery's getting low and it was this low. So we'll take those off. Now we got these 164th Pullmans by Diecast Team. Diecast Team, these are gorgeous. I believe these were like 15 bucks, 16 bucks. I don't remember. What a beautiful car that is. These have plastic base. They are a little lighter. But everything else is, of course, die cast on the top. Beautifully detailed. Beautiful color. Lens headlights, taillights. This one here, when I actually opened it, the bottom screw was not connected. I had to screw it back in. The back wheels do not turn good at all, really. I mean, when I hit them, I can loosen them up a little bit, but they're not right. The other model's perfect. does not do that at all. It rolls perfectly, so I'm going to take it apart and see what's going on with it. They're bound up on something. But that's a beautiful car. A little bit here. Show you a little closer. Beautiful color, plastic base, somewhat detailed, not too bad. These little exhaust pipes you got to be careful of that are hard plastic. Get the rear view mirrors as well. I'll show you the tail light there. There's Pullman, Mercedes. There's the front. Beautiful. Love the blue in the center caps too. Looks great. I love it. I saw those on Super Mini Wheels and I had to grab them. I'm like, that's a beautiful car. Something different with a collection. And I got it in gold, which I really like too. With the red interior. Looks great. Now this one rolls perfectly. No problem. So I got to take that one apart and find out what the heck's going on. But look at that beauty. Beautiful car. Really like it in the gold, too. I really like them both. The both colors are beautiful. And like I said, there's a black and a silver, too, I believe. It's 
These are very nice. So I'm going to find some cases for these guys. <clears throat> that they'll fit in. So I don't think they're going to fit my displays. I'll figure something out. I love them. We'll show them both. We'll click there. Together. Beautiful. Yeah, so a new brand for me. I like it. It's a good brand. That's Diecast Team. I've never heard of them before, but it looked good on the pictures. So you get rubber tires and plastic base and metal body. So a premium, not a super premium, but it's a premium for sure. On the lines, it's Harmac Works, stuff like that. And you don't get the base in the acrylic case, but it's not twenty something dollars either. So very nicely done. And I'll show you guys this other one that I opened up. This is that Salido. 143rd scale Cadillac. This thing is freaking awesome. I am definitely going to go look for some more of these. I absolutely love this car. And I love how it comes in a case. So I don't have to worry about that either. 1931 Cadillac V16. Um, those are plastic tires, but they look great. They roll great. Um, I believe it's metal base, right? Yeah, this is all metal. This whole car is metal, except for the tires, you know. The detailing on it, you can see what's not metal. Very solidly built car. <clears throat> God, I'm into this big time. This is this is my stuff right here. I love this. So I'm gonna be on the hunt for more good prices on these. Like I said, like I said, with shipping everything is 15, 16 bucks for this, which I don't think is bad at all for a 143rd scale car with this much detail. And it's older. I, mean, I don't know what years these came out, but these are older cars. I don't know if it tells you on the back of this case. It has a bunch of info on here. I don't know if it gives you... It's made in France, blah, blah, blah. I don't see any dates. You wonder why they don't put dates on anything. <laughs> uh, maybe it's on the back here. Let's take a quick look. I didn't really look too much at this. Nope. Nope. But that'll do it, guys, for my battery, guys, for this video. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Um, got some beautiful models to share. Uh, I'm doing my M2 video soon. I got to unbox all these M2s and do a big M2 show. So get ready to get, look forward to that soon. Um, it takes a while getting them all out of the cases, unscrewing them all, cleaning them up. And I got to take pictures, put them all on Instagram, and I'll show you guys them all loose. It's going to be a big show. So if you're into the 50s and 40s cars of M2, and I'll do the Bazooka Joe one too. I'll throw that in there. Um, stick around. It'll probably be the next video. All right, guys, thanks again for all the likes and the comments. Take care and have a great night.